Now we already know that the make noise has one main oscillator. Of course, the slope can be set as an oscillator, but there's no noise generator. But we can create something that sounds kind of like noise. So I'm going to plug in my MIDI control in here so I can play the synth. Now I don't want to trigger the oscillator. What I want to hear is this random stepped voltage generator. So let's take the output of this random voltage and plug that directly to this input here on the balance. Now this voltage is running at a very low rate. So it's like at LFO rate. Now I can speed it up by tapping on the tap tempo really fast. It's running faster, but still not quite at audio rate. We need to have this running at audio rate because that's what noise is. Random voltage at an audio rate. So to clock this faster, we can take the output of the oscillator, like the square oscillator, and plug that into the tempo input. Now our clock has stopped blinking because it's running really, really fast. Same for the random voltage, as it relies on the clock for its rate. So now let's hear this. I'll set the balance to the left. Now the sound we're hearing relies on the main oscillator's pitch. So if I speed that up, in other words, set the pitch to a higher value, you can hear now we're getting something that sounds like noise. Kind of sounds like bit crushed pink noise. Another thing you'll notice is that if the pitch is too high, the sound just completely cuts off. I'm not sure why this happens, maybe because the clock just can't run at that rate. But just try to avoid setting your pitch too high. So that's kind of a noise sound. I can increase the release on my amp envelope. You notice some of those high notes don't trigger the sound because that sets the oscillator's pitch a bit too high. Now what if we turn on the arpeggiator? Well, the arpeggiator relies on the clock, and the clock is running at audio rate, so we are having arpeggiation at audio rate, which is not going to be very useful. Now to make this patch a bit more interesting, we could use something to auto-trigger the envelope. So I'll turn on cycle on slope, slow down the time parameters on this, so now you can see that end of cycle LED blinking. So maybe we could use that to trigger the dynamic section. I can slow that down a bit. Now I don't like this because we've completely lost the envelope controls. So let's actually plug that end of cycle output to the trigger on the contour. Now this amp envelope is in place so we can adjust controls on that. You can kind of change the timbre on the noise by playing with the pitch control. We could use the triangle output instead of the square, but the sound is not going to change because we're not actually hearing this oscillator, we're just using it to make the clock run at audio rate. Cool. So that's one way to create noise on the zero coast.